This is the plaintiff, Evan Toder. He says he rented an apartment from the very stern, uncaring defendant. And now that he's moved out, he can't get the defendant to return a security deposit. He left the apartment clean. The defendant's impossible to deal with. And he's suing him here and now for the $780 he's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Richard Fish. He says the plaintiff told him he was moving out on a certain date. Then two days before the move out date said his house wasn't ready and he couldn't leave for another couple of weeks. He already had the place rented out with a new tenant. The plaintiff's emergency's not his problem because it cost him money. And that's why he's withholding some of the guy's security. He's accused of taking advantage of a tenant. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court Next Case. On the docket, the plaintiff rented an apartment from the defendant and says he was swindled. But the defendant says the plaintiff needed to move quickly and it wasn't his problem, so he's keeping the guy's money. It's the case of security deposit 911. Okay. Evan Toder, you're suing the Meadows Apartments represented here by Richard Fish for $780 uh, that you were shorted in the return of your security deposit that, according to you, you're entitled to. Let me hear from you. What's going on? Uh, beginning of August, I notified the manager I'd be moving out. I purchased the house. What day were you going to be moving out? Um, August 30th, 2015. Okay. And uh, getting near that date, I realized I needed a couple of extra days. First time I bought a home, I'm remodeling and whatnot. Uh, I went and spoke. Had you closed already? Yes, I closed June 30th. Okay. Had he rented it to somebody else? I don't know. Did he tell you he did? When I went in the office, he said he did, yes. So what happened to that person who thought they were, you were moving out? Well, you know, it's funny, Your Honor, is I have a friend who still lives at that apartment, and I was there a week ago, and the apartment is still vacant. It's been vacant for months now. Did you have somebody moving in on September 1st? I did. And what happened? When Mr. Toder told us that the apartment was, he was not leaving, we went to those people and told them that we had another apartment that I could make available to them. And they didn't want that apartment. It was on the second floor. And they found other housing. Did you, did you have to return a deposit? I did. They gave us a $200 deposit, which I had, I had to return. All because it was inconvenient for you to get out when you said you were going to? Well, Your Honor, I told him I could have been out the second or third. He told me I would have to pay the entire month's rent if I did that. I obviously wasn't going to agree to that. We bickered So back. what did you do? We agreed that on, I'd stay till the 10th. I guess that would give me extra time to clean up or whatever. And uh, I'd stay till the 10th for $300, which he agreed to. Did you agree for him to stay until the 10th for $300? I did not. Do you have that in writing anywhere, like a text or an email or anything like that? I have a check made out to him for $300, which he cashed. And that check was written when? September 1st. Okay. Would May you like to see this? Yes, I would. And it was cashed when? Uh, less than a week later, five days later. And in addition, Your Honor, I have a video walkthrough of the apartment after I vacated, showing that it is clean and good condition. Do you have any proof that he agreed that this is all you would pay? $300? No. I this didn't. proves that you paid $300? Yes. Right. But if I was going to pay the entire month's rent, why wouldn't I just pay him the entire month's rent in that check? Because you don't want to pay the entire month's rent. Because you want to stay only the days that you need to stay. And you don't want to pay for more than that, but you don't mind him eating a tenant. I mean, because that's, see, the way, the way the law works is if you're there one day, you've now cost him the month, especially in a situation where he has to return a deposit. Which I told him if I'm going to pay for a couple so you're, of days. You're just supposed to get out when you say you're supposed to get out. And it just because, while I'm remodeling, it's not convenient for me to get, you know, that's, that's, that's not okay. I, I'm stunned that you think it's okay, and I'm stunned that you're talking like it's okay. Like, Your what? Honor, what? I'll get out happened, when I feel like it, and then I'll pay just for what I used. You know what I mean? That's not how it works. Like, do you get that part? <laughs> yes, okay. I get that part. Yeah, you got to go to a hotel and move your stuff into where and be inconvenienced. Not they got to be inconvenienced and eat it, and then you're suing them for it. Now, you're also keeping money for cleaning. According to him, he left the place very clean. You have a video of it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, hold, hold on to that one second. And let me just ask you, what didn't he leave clean? <clears throat> there were, I don't know what it was, but there were some kind of stains all over the walls. And the place was filthy. Prove it. Beyond. Do you have pictures? 
I don't have pictures because I didn't think I was at the time there was going to be any kind of lawsuit. Okay, I don't know but why I, because if you walk into a place and you see stains all over the walls, mm -hmm. all right, and you're going to charge a guy for it, mm -hmm. and you already know he's fussy, he's not just going to walk away because you've already had an argument with him about him staying in September. Mm -hmm. How would you not think it's a problem and take pictures? In fact, you hire, did you hire a service to clean? Yes. Okay, because I'm looking at the receipt that you've provided into evidence, mm -hmm. and what it says is pictures available upon request. So why didn't you request them for court? So by cashing the check, does the landlord forfeit the balance of the rent? Uh, he could possibly, like, by cashing it, I think it might show that he's accepted that as the... As well, that's the my question. Yeah. Does it? Does it, does it, does it? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. So he can still go after the, the remaining 20 days? That landlord, I'd go after my 20 days. You may do it, but by cashing the check, does he screw up his rights? No. Last no. word? No. That's it? Okay, I'm, I wasn't literal about one word, okay, going inside the courtroom. Let's see if I have evidence of it. Let's see your video. Let's see if it buries you or exonerates. Just press the play button, I walk through the whole part. You, the, the amount of the security deposit was $1,177.50. Everybody agrees? Right. I have $1,162.50. Uh, can I see the lease? Do you have a check? Uh, cancel check from it? Yeah. No, it was... Right. Oh, the difference is the $15 key deposit. Correct. Oh, did he return the keys? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, one thousand one hundred seventy-seven fifty. All right. Now, he ends up, in addition, giving you three hundred dollars, and you did cash that check. I deposited it into the account. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, you cashed it. All right. But according to you, you never agreed with him that that is all he would pay in rent for the month of September. No, I didn't agree with him at all. He came into my office a day or so before he was leaving. We got into a discussion about him moving out. And I said, your apartment has been rented. Uh, if you don't move, I said, I'm liable to these people. I'm going to sue you. And we got in a big discussion, and he left. He came back later and said, I will be out. He said, draw something up. I'll sign it. I'll be out by the 10th of the month. I said, fine. That's what I need. Can I see that? Sure. You folks drew something up? Yes. Oh, that's well, kind of Well, what was drawn up actually just said I'm giving him 300 through the 10th. Doesn't want to say I'm going to be out the 10th, but I was actually out the 4th. I will be completely moved out of apartment on September 10. Okay, but where's the part about and all I will pay is $300? Where's that part? That's not in there. Well, okay. I, I guess so where's that? That's pretty critical. If like supposedly you guys are came to an agreement, which I would find hard to believe in I his circumstances. Him. You trusted him. Yes. No, My listen, mistake. honey, the problem here was that he trusted you. That's where the problem was. Because you're kind of a selfish guy. Like you don't get the idea behind the commitment of you need to move out. Like if it's not convenient for you, you're just staying and everybody else can go scramble and figure it out. And I'm not even talking about him. That's bad enough. I'm talking about the people who thought they had an apartment. And now they've got to, on, you know, the day before they thought they were moving in, they've got to go hustle do it because you're just not ready. Okay, I got it. So, no, you owe the month of September. Now, the month of September is $790. Is that correct? correct. That's the monthly rent? All right. Um, but without you being able to prove, because his video, I mean, I can see some marks on the wall. You know, they're very, his video is very, you want to do that slower, unless, of course, you don't want to do it slower when you're going past the, but I, I love the fact that he brought a video, um, and it's way more impressive than you bringing me nothing to prove that you're entitled to keep $300. So I'm going to allow you to keep the $100 that the lease says is the minimum cleaning fee that mm -hmm. he will be paying, because the lease you signed does say that. And the 790 for <clears throat> rent, so that's 890 from the 1177.5, no, from more than that because he paid you $300. So it means that on your side, there's $1,477.50, right? With the 300. Mm -hmm. Minus 890, 
which is what I find that you are entitled to keep. I am ordering you to return the remainder of that, which is $587.50. Did you cash and did he send you anything or no? Uh, yes, he sent me a check for, I believe it was 387. Did you cash it? Yes. Okay. It was 387.50, Ron. Minus 387.50 equals the $200 discrepancy. And therefore, I am uh, ordering you to pay Mr. Toter the $200 discrepancy that you're unable to prove you're entitled to. Okay? That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Ma'am, my phone? Yeah, I'll bring it up. I don't think that's <laughs> Well, the plaintiff's out of the courtroom first. You'll be paying the whole month of September and everything, and step next to me here and tell me what's your reaction to this outcome and how this case made you look. Uh, kind of surprised. I thought I'd uh, get part of that rent back, but, you know, it turned out the way it turned out. I mean, I guess she was fair. I got the cleaning back, and he got to keep the rest of the rent. Mm -hmm. So, What about just making a decision at the last minute and leaving the other party hanging who's planning on moving into that apartment? Uh, I, I can understand that. Uh, they have a place that they, you know, need to rent to somebody else, and it's business. So oh, okay, all right, right down, right down. That's why I bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, he bought a house. He doesn't deal with uh, landlords anymore. What, what's your reaction to this outcome? I'm fine. I uh, I expected the extra two hundred dollars. The place was a real mess, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. That's the type of person he was. Mm -hmm. What what type? I'd rather not say. <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> I don't. Harvey? Okay, here's a little trick for you. Um, if you write a check for somebody and you want to make sure that that's the only amount you have to pay, turn the check over and on the back, right above where the person would endorse it, write the words payment in full. That's a, those are magic words. The landlord cashes it. That's it.